Hey y'all, it's Courtney and I am back with another video and it is September 2nd. So y'all know what that means, right? It's spooky season officially, so your girl had to get out her uh, spooky vibes. Um, got my little Gabe's skeleton in, my little skeleton. Y'all get the drill. You guys know I do this every year, so um, get used to it. But anyway, so um, this is my second spooky haul of the year, and um, I today I have some Dollar Tree stuff, some Michael stuff, and a few things from Walmart today. Um, and yeah, so I found a bunch of stuff at Dollar Tree to add to my um, little graveyard this year. Um, I plan on doing another video of setting up my graveyard. I've got like a little fence and everything this year, so that's exciting. Um, so let's get into that first. Um, yeah, because there's that's the biggest array of items. I was trying to wait for my Amazon stuff to come in, but I might just do an unboxing for those because they're going to, you know, whatever. So first off, to get these out of the way, I got four of these. I wish I would have gotten five so I could put three across and then two, um, like one on each side. So I might have to get another one or two, but it's just like little fencing and then they hook together right here on the ends like so and like I said I should have gotten because I did I bought two across and then one down each way like that but it's just not going to be enough because obviously I have a lot more that's going to go in my graveyard this year so eh. but we'll get one or two more maybe two more because it's gonna be a bigger setup this year, so we'll see. I hate it though because literally where I set up my graveyard, there used to be a brick road underneath, so it's hard to get things shoved down in the ground, but we'll, we'll figure it out, so. Um, next thing I got, some of this stuff isn't necessarily for the um, graveyard, but it's mostly outside stuff. Um, so I usually get new garland each year. Um, last year, I believe it was skulls, something like that, with silver garland. Um, so this year, I went with this purple that has cauldrons and witches hats on it. And my cats love to chew on it, so there's that. Um, we've probably lost a good bit of the garland, or of the, um little sticky off pieces because as I said my cat likes to chew on anything plastic uh he puked up a, a balloon string the other morning so there's that um yeah so <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that but <laughs> there's that um and then I got this I was thinking about putting this along the top of the fence right in front of where the graveyard is going to be set up but I don't know I might uh, figure out somewhere to put it inside who knows what I'll do with it yet but um it is 25 feet of garland as well and it's little ghosts little ghosties I've been trying to not go as much for like the little cheesy stuff like this little dollar stuff but um part of me still is like I want that so, I got these to hang on the fence, and Autumn actually had a really good idea. She was like, can we use these to put in the ground like they're babies <laughs> um, for the graveyard? So, they have some, like, little one-foot skeletons at the Dollar Tree, and I was like, you know what? We'll buy a couple of those, and then we'll stick them in the ground. We'll, like, bury their torso part, and then have their arms and their legs and their head popping up out of the ground or something, because... I mean, some people might see that as, you know, wrong or whatever, but, I mean, we literally have a skull and then the hands as well that, like, adults, so, like, I don't know, um, 
there's all different size skeletons, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm trying to say that, but yeah, so we're going to hang these guys from the fence along the um, thing. And we also have the spider webs and stuff, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. We will figure it out when the time comes, but I just thought they were cute. They're four for a dollar, so we'll figure out something to do with these guys. Who knows, they might stay inside too. Um, oh, I got this just to hang on the stove. Um, during spooky season, it'll probably actually stay there, but... Um, and then I got these because I got these last year and I put them in my graveyard, but one of the, um, bones snapped off whenever I was packing stuff up last year. So we will definitely, uh, need another set of these. I should have gotten a couple, but I didn't. That's okay though. There's only so much room, so. And then I got these to put in the windows. One says, help me. The other one has just some skeletons. Got a couple different ones. Um, but yeah, I like the, uh, this one. I think that's cool. And then I'll probably put this one on the screen door, actually. I don't know, actually I'll probably put this one on the screen door and this one in the actual window on our porch. Um, and then I just got one of these creepy cheesecloth type deals. And I think I might put it in the hallway right as you come in our front door. And then I might decorate it with some, um, like little bats or spiders or something like that. Um, this is the, I always get some caution tape and put it because we have like three rungs on the wood, um, of the porch. So I always take the... Um, tinsel, and I put it on one, and then I'll put, like, the, uh, caution tape on another one, and they had this one this year. You guys know I love bats, so I thought that was really cool. It just, it just says danger with little bats everywhere. And then I got two of these guys to put around the graveyard or the porch. Who knows? Graveyard will be part of the you know, outdoor setup this year, so we'll put them somewhere out there. Um, and then I also got two of these to run on the rung either underneath. Maybe I'll put the garland in the middle this year and put these on the top. Who knows? It'll go one way or the other, but um, these would either go above or below the purple garland, and these are, they say that they're black lights, but they're not. They're literally just, they're purple lights. So that's neat. Um, what's up, babe? Okay, so that's all for one bag. Put everything back in. And we're gonna get on this early this year, so that, uh, we can keep it up as long as possible. So that video will be coming soon. Me, um, doing the graveyard. Um, like I said, I'd like to get it done early this year so I can stay up as long as possible, but we also have a lot of stuff to do. Baby coming and everything, so. And then I got this. I'm gonna get a few more of these, I think. They're just little strobe lights. Um, and I was thinking that I would use this to put, like, in front of a few. What, honey? Oh my goodness. I was thinking I was gonna, um, use a few of these for in front of just like set them maybe bury them a little bit or something um so the big bright thing is not just sticking out like a sore thumb but uh bury them a little bit and then uh set them in front of no no ma'am told you that she loves it um set them in front of a few of the bigger gravestones to light them up at night um i thought that would be kind of cool really really Really, really. So there's that little strobe light thing. Um, and then I got these to decorate inside. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I love spider webs and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is just some sparkle mesh, and it's got spider webbing all over it. There's actually a lot in there. Um, it's a good bit for a dollar. 
uh, 6 inches by 3 yards, 15.2 centimeters by 2.7 meters, 2.74 meters. So that's a good bit there. Um, and then I found little bats and little butterflies. I was thinking about taking this and putting it inside of like a picture frame or maybe putting it... Stop. Or putting it like... On the, like wrapping the outside of a picture frame with this and then putting these along it. Or I was thinking about pairing this with that cheesecloth in the hallway and then just kind of, um, cause they have these little things on the back, which I really like. Um, they're like little clips on the back. Um, I was thinking about taking those and like clipping them to the cheesecloth. Um, we'll see. You guys let me know if you have any ideas of what I could do with these. Um, what? Hmm? I'm in the bathroom. Um, okay, she wanted to know if she had worn um, her other South Carolina hoodie to school yet. And I was like, I don't think so. You only got four of them. She legitimately got four hoodies. But that's what she likes to wear. So. Like, legitimately, that kid will wear a hoodie in 100 degree weather. We were at the beach. And she was wearing a hoodie and blue jeans. <laughs> and she's like, it's hot. We're like, yeah, it's a little hot. It's a little hot. But whatever. That's what she likes to wear. Um, so this stuff isn't necessarily for um, Halloween. But it is, but it isn't. So I got this acrylic paint in black and orange. I got some paintbrushes, and I got uh, a um, just little canvas here, and this is going to, I think I'm going to paint it orange, because I don't think it would, I don't think the orange would show up on top of black. I wanted to do black, like paint the whole thing black, and then do orange over top, but I don't think it's going to show through, or I think the black will show through. I think it'll like, look patchy, so um, I'm going to do orange underneath with black writing. And this is going to be for our maternity pictures um, for Nova. Uh, we're going to, you know, have a little bit of spookiness to it because she's going to be our spooky baby. Um, Y'all, please cross your fingers that she stays in until the 24th because my photographer was booked solid for the weekends all the way until the 24th. And that's still a Friday um, rather than a weekend day. Um, but Mike, luckily Mike is off on Friday, so we'll still be able to do it, but the kids will have to get off school, we'll have to get them ready, and then go, um, we're either going to do Valley Falls or Cooper's Rock, I think, um, but yeah, so we're going to get something like, I don't know, like a little, a rattle or something like that, like a pumpkin rattle or something, something cute, and then, um, we're going to put, like, Nova Atlas Marks coming soon, or in, like, creepy writing that looks like it's running or something. I don't know. Another thing that, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, I'm sure we can figure out something fun, but I was thinking about doing, um, the orange background, the black writing, and then maybe, like, some silhouettes of bats on it or something like that. Um, I'd like to add some silver to it and then maybe clip those little silver, uh, bat clips to it, or, I don't know, something. I don't want it to look cheesy, though. I want it to look nice, but also spooky and fun, and, um, yeah, just fun. So, we're getting a, um, a decent-sized package. We're gonna do 40, 40 pictures, so, pretty good. Um, and then, because we want to do some maternity, and then some with the kids in them, and Mike, um, and then we want to do after baby's born pictures, we're going to get newborn pictures and then also family pictures. So we're going to be spending like $400 on pictures in the next few months. So, but worth it. And then lastly from Dollar Tree, we have, I just thought this jar was really cute. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe I could use this for that. Um, those butterflies or something, maybe maybe make it look like a little terrarium or something like that, um, and use the mesh to make like a bow. I don't know. I don't know. 
Or I could use this in my witch's cabinet because I'd like to work on that this year. I'd like it to be done by the by Halloween this year. Maybe I could find some like fake eyeballs or something and put them inside here. Or, I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with it. Um, just sometimes you see stuff and you just gotta pick it up. So there is my Dollar Tree haul. I spent $20, $25, I believe, at Dollar Tree, so that's a good bit of stuff for $25. bucks. i am not complaining. Um, today, we went to Walmart, and they had a few things that I wanted, but I refrained because I gave myself like a $100 limit this year for Halloween stuff, and I've already surpassed that. And I'm sure there will, I'll find things that I want more before Halloween, so I was like, mm, I gotta stop. So, I found this, though, it's only 98 cents. It's Phantom Cat, and it smells really good. Just some hand soap, and I'll, I think I'm gonna leave it in here. There's the other cat now. Um, I was gonna take it out and put it in my skull hand, um, soap dispenser, but the little Phantom Cat is so cute. So, I think I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. doesn't say. just says, add a seasonal flair to your sink that your entire family can enjoy. Phantom Cat. But it's cute, and I like it. Um, so, I grabbed that, and then I grabbed this. I kind of grabbed it for autumn, in a way, but I put it in the living room because I don't want her to break it, so... Is that not adorable? The Dia de los Muertos kitty. And she will probably stay out all year too. She was uh, 484. She's super cute. I love her little bit of glitter on her face. I think I am going to uh, fix her up though a little bit because Right around here is a little, yeah, she, she a little uh, messy, so I think I'll fix that up, but other than that, absolutely love her. I think she's adorable, and she was under $5, so can't complain. Might add a little bit more glitter to her, who knows, but she's freaking cute, so there's that from Walmart today. That's all I got. They did have a crystal ball there. I've been wanting to get, so the two things that I really, really want to get now is a crystal ball, um, but I don't want one of the, like, cheap plastic looking ones with the hands on it that, like, <laughs> has the witch laugh and that kind of stuff. I'm not really into it, um, but I do want to find one that's more, like, realistic and more, like, um, less cheesy looking, um, because my style has went from, like, kind of, like, uh, cheesy Halloween stuff to more, like, things that I can leave out all year long um, and enjoy all year long. Like, my Michael stuff, this is stuff that's going to stay out all year long. Um, so let's get into those. Um, I went there looking for certain pieces, but I did not find either one I was looking for. Um, I wanted the Ouija board. I'm going to kick her butt. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, so I couldn't find them. I wanted the Ouija sign wall hanging that said, um, welcome to our haunted house. Um, and then they also had a tarot one. It was like an oblong one. And then it had like some really cool molding around the top and then like a piece that hung down on the bottom. And that one was really neat, but they didn't have either of them. So I just got some smaller pieces. Um, and I'm actually really happy with them. Uh, cause they're things that can definitely stay out all year long. So, here's number one. It's the death moth. Death head moth, I think, to be exact. Um, so it's glittery and black all around the edges, and I like how it's worn looking. I think that's neat. I think they call that dry brushing or something like that, when they just kinda take a dry brush to make it look old. But... I think it's really pretty. I love the lavender and the moon phases, and there's just so much detail to it. I really love it. So, um, this guy was $9.99. There's that one. And 
And then we have the Scarab. And it has the Ivy and the Eye. The Star. The Star's kind of an odd placement, but that's okay. I love him anyways. I need to get him up on the wall before something gets scratched in there or something. Again, he was $9.99. And these are from the Ashland line. Um, I love that entire line this year. Like, I swear, I wish I could afford to get all of it. And then lastly, this one. And everything is 20% off online right now. Like, I wish I would have waited and just gotten everything online. Because now it's all 20% off. Uh, all the ones that I wanted that my store didn't have, I found online. And instead of being... $22, they're now $16, so who on me for not waiting. Um, and this one, I believe, was $12.99. I don't see the sticker on it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it was $12.99. And it just says, Fortune and Fortune Telling. And I definitely wish I would have waited on this one, so, um, to get the bigger one. Cause this one was twelve ninety nine. Like I said, I could have got the other one for sixteen. So I still, obviously, I like it, um, and I think it'll go really well with my um, wall that has like the jars, um, the jar lights, and all that, and the um, Ouija signs, and the cat with the third eye, and you guys know what wall I'm, my spooky wall. I think these will look really nice there. So yeah. Anyways, guys, um, my kids are going to keep harassing me until I get off of here. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, my second haul of the year. Um, I'll probably only have one more. Well, I'd like to say I only have one more, but I'll probably have one or two more this year. Um, but, yeah, so you guys let me know uh, what you found, what goodies you found uh, while you're out doing your shopping and um here soon i will be doing i'm still waiting on that thing to come in the mail so i can do my little baby haul um baby gift type video um we're waiting on the big one to come so we'll see it was supposed to be here tuesday but i have a feeling since uh the hurricane um things have gotten slowed down obviously uh, i totally understand um everybody out there please stay safe um i think that I'm not going to say the storm is gone and it's passed, but um, I do believe that it's slowing down and people are a little more safe now. Um, I do know that Pearl is having a very rough time. Um, I have something up on my Twitter about it. Um, if you guys have even a dollar that you can spare, I know that her power was out and then her, um, what is that called? The thing that gives you power when your power goes out. Um, hers took a poop, and so they had to drive, like, hours and hours to buy a new one. Um, they finally found one, but she really didn't have the money to buy a new generator. That's what I was trying to say, generator. So, yeah, if you guys go on my Twitter, there's a link to her PayPal. I'm sure that she would greatly appreciate anything. Um, it'll help. So, uh, anybody that's went through that, my prayers are with you. We're thinking about you. Um, please stay safe out there. Uh, even if the storm is over, please just be safe, guys. Um, I wouldn't want anything to happen to any of you. I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!